the road there wasn't easy. Despite the clarity concerning his calling and the Lord's support, there were moments of uncertainty he had to battle, as well as heartaches in every area, from the simplest ones, such as providing for his home, to more sensitive ones like character assassination. Just recently married and in the process of starting a new life together, the young couple rented a small house. Their wedding had been nothing short of a true miracle of provision from start to finish. Blessed with many gifts, their excitement overflowed at the sight of all those different packages. There were large boxes as well as small ones, all wrapped in white paper with beautiful designs. It was like a special Christmas, and hand in hand, the new couple gave thanks for so much blessing. Some presents were exceptional. For example, the parents of the bride had given them a set of cutlery made of sterling silver. Wow, yes, I know. They couldn't imagine when they would ever use them, but they would. However, putting first things first, they needed food on the table, and that's exactly what he focused on. In fact, when he decided to get married after hearing the Lord tell him, it's time to get engaged and start your life as a couple, a knife salesman visited his workplace, and in faith he bought a set of knives for his future household. Upon receiving them, he said, Okay, Lord, I'll obey. I'm going to get married. I've bought the first thing for our home. Could you please provide everything else? Being a young husband, he decided to become an insurance broker, which would allow him a flexible schedule that wouldn't interrupt his service for the Lord. And indeed, he did well, convincing potential customers of his product with a special grace. In time, he became the best salesman on the team, to the point of winning awards. However, even these achievements didn't do away with a measure of doubt or perhaps an anxiety for wanting things to happen more quickly. I'm not sure. However, one day I left home. That is, this young man left for work greatly distressed over his finances, wondering how he could provide his wife the home he had promised her and how the dreams they had visualized together would become a reality. Right at that moment, he heard the father say, if I give you a set of sterling silver cutlery, can't I also provide the food to eat with it? It was such a logical question and loving promise at the same time. That young man, that is, I, lost it and started weeping uncontrollably. Of course, perhaps I didn't understand the full extent of what God was saying, but it was a lesson in faith, just like many more that were on the way. People often ask me how to live by faith in God, and my reply is simple and complex at the same time. I always sum it up with this phrase, give yourself to the Lord, because it covers many areas, from knowing His Word, where we find our identity and code of conduct, to our attitude in every situation in life, be it large or small. For example, the well-known Lord's Prayer is a complete declaration of faith. Right from the opening statement, Our Father, we understand that we are His children, His heirs, and official citizens of the kingdom that operates under different laws and standards than those of this world. That is the key. It is along with the model prayer left by Jesus that we declare, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Many times, however, we fail to grasp the sheer magnitude of what this request encompasses. That we might have peace, that good might prevail over evil, that justice be established, and to be free of all worries and anxieties. In short, to live our life on earth as we would in heaven, right? To live out these ideal, supernatural conditions we must first learn something about God's system, which obviously is totally different from this world system. It's not simple to achieve because it implies a willingness to renew our understanding and do away with what this world has taught us. First and foremost, with a total conviction in our minds and hearts that He truly does love and care for us. Having faith in God means that the wonderful truth of His fatherhood must become the foundation of our lives to such an extent that it totally transforms how we see things around us. As His children, just like in any other family, 
We have both benefits and responsibilities to fulfill.